What should be the greatest characteristic of a Christian church? The answer is so simple that sometimes you forget it. With the emphatic point of Jesus' speeches was about the importance of love. He loved so much and taught it that he asked his followers to love others as they were loved. So, a Christian church should be known not only by its magnificent temples or even its great preaching, but for genuine love-driven relationships. That was the message of Paul in his first letter to the members of Christian church of the city of Thessalonica, as we can read in chapter 3, starting in verse 11. Now may our God and Father himself and our Lord Jesus clear the way for us to come to you. May the Lord make your love increase and overflow for each other and for everyone else, just as ours does for you. May he strengthen your hearts, the soul, that you will be blameless and holy in the presence of our God and Father when our Lord Jesus comes with all his holy ones. Paul's request is in that within Christian church the love of each other would grow more and more as time passes by. Although this advice is 2,000 years old, it reveals the great need of the current Christian movement, people that truly love each other, not only by words but with sincere attitudes also. For what's the good of majestic church building but filled with people with hard feelings for each other? A beautiful song written by North American Catholic priest Daniel Schult, entitled As I Have Done For You, reminds us that love is the key for someone's happiness and lead others to gladness. The lyrics that begins with the chorus and the first verse state, I, your Lord and Master, now become your servant. I, who made the moon and the stars, will kneel to wash your feet. This is my commandment, to love as I have loved you. Kneel to wash each other's feet as I have done for you. All the world will know you, my disciples, by the love that you offer, the kindness you show. You have heard the voice of God. In the words that I have spoken, you beheld the heaven's glory and have seen the face of God.